everybody, it's Fran here from the Astronomy Outreach of Kosovo. A few weeks ago, I posted a picture holding one of these uh, 50 millimeter refractor Celastron telescopes and uh, I received a lot of comments on my Facebook photo whether this is a great device for uh, getting kids started into astronomy or not. Uh, therefore, I decided to get one of these kits and personally test it for you. First of all, let's unpack this together. Just to remind you, this kit consists of a 50 millimeter refractor telescope. It's this guy. It comes with a tripod, a finder scope, a diagonal, looks like two eyepieces, a pair of binoculars, a microscope, it's the microscope, and also the microscope has all the tools that you need to prep your sample. And just keep in mind, all of this costs for only $50. So I will test each of these components individually and I am going to start with a pair of binoculars. The binoculars are four by 30. Since it's not fully dark yet, I will go outside and give them a try and I'll try to film through these with my iPhone. I'm pointing at my neighbors over there. The video might seem a bit noisy because of the low light. And on top of that, I had to utilize the zoom feature in order to align the camera with the binoculars. When I zoom out, you should get an idea of the distance we're pointing at. This is the tripod and we are going to set this up. Looks like we can also extend the legs of the tripod and make this much taller. We will be installing our 50 millimeter refractor telescope. That's the cap. You can take a look inside. Right now the telescope is loose like this, but if we want to point at the objects, we can simply make this firm by rotating this handle. And now the telescope will stay intact. This is the diagonal that we are going to place at the end of the telescope. And of course this comes with a note that you should never point this telescope to the sun unless you have a proper filter for it. The telescope comes with two different eyepieces, a 5mm and a 10mm. I'm going to try the larger one. This is one of the eyepieces. They are uh, plastic, uh, but they have all the optics integrated inside. Therefore, I'm going to mount it into the telescope and then we're going to look at the moon and see how it looks like. So we're outside about to test out this telescope. Uh, the moon is out there. The skies are a little bit hazy because it's been raining a lot in California. So it's been cloudy most of the time, but we're still going to give it a try and see how it looks like. We have got it in the finder scope. Here is a raw video, directly from my phone showing the view through the telescope's eyepiece. While this might not be the most impressive view of the moon, imagine a six-year-old looking at those craters for the first time. I'm sorry, but to me, this is a win. This kit also includes a third component, a microscope that comes with all the necessary tools that would help you to prep your sample. The essential tools include three plastic bottles where you can store your samples, 
three labels and three plastic slide covers, three different uh, prepping glasses where you can place your sample. Also, it includes a number of um, tools uh, that are tweezers and uh, pipettes and um, mixers and little knives. And mind you, all of these are plastic, so little kids would not be able to get injured using these sharp objects. As for the microscope, uh, it has three different magnifications that you can just rotate the wheel this way and you can change the magnification. It also has a wheel that allows you to adjust the focusing. This is the stage where you can place your sample. These little two uh, holders are to hold your slice of sample underneath. You can place it like this so that your sample is intact and it won't be moving. The microscope also has the mirror so that you can use natural light or a lamp light to reflect into the mirror so that you can reflect light into your sample in order for you to have a great view. But in case you don't want to use the mirror, then you can simply rotate it down and then this little bulb is supposed to come on once you rotate it. This whole platform can be rotated 360 degrees and you can also not only rotate it sideways, you can adjust it like this so you can shine the light into your sample depending on the angle that you would prefer. The microscope also comes with a second bulb that you can replace in case this one burns out. In order to get this to operate, you will have to unscrew the bottom part of the microscope and install two AA batteries. I did that prior to recording this video. So this is where we have the eyepiece of the microscope where you can place your eye to look at your sample. So let's go ahead and get a sample and place it under the microscope to see how it looks like. I have picked a red onion skin to look at the onion cells. Oh my god, the seeing is wonderful. Like, I can see the rectangle shaped onion cells under this plastic kit. Folks, this is exactly what I mean. Take a look at this solid onion skin wall composed of rectangular cells. I had a bit of a challenge capturing this view by aiming my phone's camera into the eyepiece. However, this is the kind of stuff they used to amaze us with back in middle school biology class. I am absolutely not making this up. My next sample, I think I want to look at some uh, blood cells, so I'm going to get some blood. We are taking a close look at blood cells. The red color comes from the iron in hemoglobin. What's really cool is that we can zoom in on these details using a microscope from a $50 kit, which surprisingly, many people haven't been speaking very highly of it. This is so cool. <laughs> I understand that this is not a very powerful telescope and neither are the binoculars and the microscope but at the end of the day it's only $50 and for $50 it's worth just playing with it let alone doing some basic science. So is it worth it? Absolutely! Get your hands on it, spark some curiosity and let the good times roll. Hoping that this review gave you a new take on this kit. Thank you for watching.